All right. Okay, we'll talk about it. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, so I've gotten this quite a bit. A lot of people are asking me how do I feel about Chip England set to depart the San Antonio Spurs, been here since 2005. Now, as you guys know, well, you should know this, Chip England has been known as the shot doctor for the San Antonio Spurs for a very long time. If your shot is broken, this man can fix it. No matter who you are, he will make sure your shot is squeaky clean. Now, with that being said, I would be lying if I said that this isn't a huge blow to the Spurs. It's going to suck. But at the same time, this was eventually going to come, okay? Eventually, he was going to leave. Eventually, either he was going to retire or just move on, go do something else. So we knew that this was coming, okay? And I had no idea that the man was 61 years old. I... I time just flies i could have sworn i could have sworn he was in his 50s but apparently he's 61 but just how do i feel about this initially when i first heard the news i said dang that sucks and i was thinking about jeremy sohan i mean i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys i was thinking he really needs help with his shot and not having chip there is, is really gonna hurt him now here's the thing though we don't necessarily know even when his contract is over with so i didn't overreact to this because all the report is is that he's going to you know play out or coach out his contract and then he's gone so i i don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing we don't know if it's at the end of this upcoming season we don't know if it's three seasons from now so i'm sure we'll find out sooner or later but at the point of recording this video i have no idea when he's even going to retire but with that being said even one year with chip england should do pretty good wonders for uh jeremy sohan and the other guys not only that i keep in mind when it comes to Keldon johnson i mean it seemed like <laughs> chip england did just a few tweaks this season that helped Keldon johnson um at the beginning of the season he was shooting terribly like 20 percent. it was god awful um and sure enough he worked with uh chip a little bit more just a little tweak and he upped that percentage same thing with your boy uh joe wheezy okay i love me some joe joe wise camp but even with him uh it just took an off season and apparently you know from speculation what people are saying and what he's saying is that his shot got even better it's a faster release and everything so i don't necessarily think chip is such a good coach and he's such a good uh shot doctor if you will is that i think that it doesn't take a long period of time for him to at least help you or give, give you some pointers and do a few tweaks within a season now not only that i want to i want us to at least contextualize this a little bit i know that we love chip england i know he's like the best shot doctor in in the nba more than likely but at the same time san antonio spurs players aren't the only players that up their percentages year to year there's been plenty of players throughout the nba that have gotten much gotten much better at their shot without chip england being there okay that they never even work with chip england but somehow some way they were able to become better shooters so i i have full faith that we'll be able to find someone else or they'll have enough uh trainers or enough um coaching staff that will be able to help them with their shot regardless um and if they work hard enough i believe that they can up their their shot now maybe not as quick as if you were working with chip england obviously like i said this is a blow this is a big blow but at the same time it's not the end all be all okay we're, we're not the only team in the nba that helps players with their percentages and help players with their shots it's a multi-million billion dollar industry okay it's they 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 pump so much money into uh their resources till you're, you're gonna have some of the best um shot doctors in in the world uh working on these players and helping these players so don't stress about it too much don't fret don't start to believe that jeremy sohan is doomed now and he'll never have a perfect jump shot that's not necessarily true he'll be working with the best people he has ever worked with throughout his career thus far and he'll he'll be helped along with josh primo malachi everyone they they the development will live on it will keep going on it's not necessarily going to stop just because chip england uh, might be departing soon but 
like I said, not going to panic anyways because we don't know how long this is going to be. But he he's not the end all be all of everything. I know that we hear that name so often till we're like, oh, he's the guy. He is. And he's, he's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love me some chipping. I always bring him up. But at the same time, other players have, have gotten better at shooting the ball um, that haven't been with the San Antonio Spurs. If that was the case, I mean, we would have a bunch of Steph Currys on our team and no one else would have anybody that can shoot it fairly as well and obviously that's not the case there's there's a lot of great shooters and shooters that's gotten better over the years okay so not the end all be all everything's gonna be okay you just lay back relax see what's going on with this but more than likely uh his contract eh, might be this season or a season or two who knows who knows we'll just wait and see um it hasn't been released to the public so but when, once we know we'll we'll discuss it but I, I think it's not that big a deal. We'll be all right. But anyways, um, guys, if you want to support the channel, it's only $2 per month. Patreon, YouTube members, uh, links in the descriptions. Uh, but yeah, I'll give it to you guys later. Until next time, man. Uh, deuces.